Hi everyone. Welcome to the Increase Your Productivity with Office Add-in session. My name is Melody Molesky. I'm a Product Marketing Manager for Microsoft 365 and Teams platform. I'm here with my colleague Ashima Mather, who is a Program Manager in the Office Extensibility team. When we were thinking about what sessions would be helpful for this year, this was one of our most requested and most impactful based on your feedback. One of the things that 2020 has shown us all is just how important it is to have powerful real-time collaboration tools. They can transform the way we work together and they offer flexible, powerful ways to help us sustain productivity, even when faced with enormous challenges like a global pandemic. Modern work has experienced three, these three main challenges the amount of data, the increased time demand, and the need that we have for protection. These are things that we face every day. Office add-ins are programs or utilities that help you automate tasks without taking you out of your workspace. Microsoft has partnered with leading companies to build add-ins that help you get things done right from your inbox or Excel spreadsheet. Office add-ins help you get better at data, by providing these faster insights, collaborate with anyone anywhere without even taking you out of the tool you're working in and help protect your organization's data. I'm excited to introduce Ashima, who will be showing us how Office add-ins, these tools that make simple tasks easier, make you more productive within Microsoft 365. Thank you, Melody. Hi everyone, I'm Ashima Mathur, a program manager in the Office platform team. Today, Melody and I will be demonstrating how Office add-ins help our customers drive productivity and collaboration in their teams. Please note, we will be using different Office applications such as Outlook, Excel, and Word across different platforms of mobile, web, and desktop to complete our tasks. So we are Contoso Bikes, we sell bikes and spare parts, and we have recently launched our latest product, the Thunder 2020 bike. Our customer care team has been receiving feedback on this new product. Every week, complaints are consolidated and shared with the management. The management then helps us resolve these complaints and keep our customers happy. I'm playing the role of Megan Bowen, a customer care executive at Kudoso Bikes. Today, I've received an email from a customer regarding an issue with their Thunder 2020 bike. The customer would like to get onto a Zoom call to share more details about this since they're not on Teams. Now, whenever I had to schedule a Zoom call, what I need to do is open my Outlook, copy the customer email, put that into my Zoom meeting, go back to Outlook, copy the customer issue details from the email, go to the Zoom meeting and paste those in the Zoom meeting details. Once I send out the Zoom meeting, it would then still take some time to sync with my Outlook calendar. Now, this is all pretty frustrating given the back and forth that I need to do across Zoom and Outlook. So we're going to show you how simple and seamless this can be with add-ins. Come along. OK, now I'm going to use the Outlook Zoom add-in to set up this meeting. Say I'm working from home and have briefly stepped out for groceries. So I'm going to set up the call from my mobile. I open Outlook on my Android mobile. I see the customer email here. I open it and it says, Hello Megan, my bike requires frequent adjustments on the front brakes. I have to do this twice a week. It's a bit frustrating and yes, I can get into a Zoom call with you to show you more details. Great, so I reply to this email and I convert it into an event. Now since I have the Zoom add-in installed on my account, I see this add a Zoom meeting toggle button. I turn it on and just like that, the Zoom details are added. Now my customer's email ID is already populated and the email details are also here in the Zoom meeting details. All I need to do is select the time, say 5.30 p.m., save it and send out this meeting. Now, if I go to the calendar, I can see that meeting right here. Once I open it, I see this join button up front. Now, when I click on join, 
it will launch the Zoom app for me and I can join this meeting directly from Outlook. Did you see how seamless that was? I could create a meeting from Outlook and join it from the calendar. It was beautiful. I never had to switch between any apps. Isn't this what you'd been looking for? Okay, great. Now, say I have had that customer call and now I understand this issue better. I now need to pass this information to my business team so that they can suggest what actions should be taken for the same. At Contoso Bikes, we manage all customer care issues using the project management software Jira. So once I have the issue details from the customer call, I proceed to create a ticket for it using the Jira add-in. I open the customer email and launch the Jira add-in here. I see the option to create an issue. I open that. And I get the options to add this issue here. Now, as you can see, the project and issue type are already populated. I need to add a summary here. And I select from this recommendation that bike brakes require frequent adjustments. I add a description and all I need to do is simply paste the email contents here. I go to more fields and I add a label here for brakes. Since this is a brakes issue, I'm adding this label. It will help our business teams analyze these issues better. I create this Jira ticket and we are done. Now our business teams can use this and they can recommend the appropriate actions for resolving the break issue. I will be playing the part of Miriam. Miriam is on the customer care team who frequently sends out the weekly reports around the different tasks and issues that are coming up. So right, right now I'm looking at all issues. I noticed that Megan had just assigned and submitted that the bike brakes require frequent adjustments. So what I'm doing is I wanna actually pull this up within Excel to see all of my issues. So I can click on the open in Microsoft Excel button up here on the top right and it's gonna pull open a new tab. Right away, I can see that Megan has reported a bunch of different priority reports. So what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm going to refresh the data directly from JIRA. It will then input a new log for breaks. So what we can see is that breaks is now up here and it's tracking all of my different types of issues. What I was able to do is actually go ahead and see, okay, well, which issue is my most common? And when I click on the ideas tab up here, again, in the top right, it will pull up and show that breaks accounts for the majority of labels. So if I go ahead and insert this pivot chart, it will pull up this idea and show me that right away breaks account for the majority of our issues. So one other thing that I'm going to do for my weekly report is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I send this out to everyone. So I go up to automate content. I submit this just because what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this content into Word. So I press submit content. It will pull what I have here in Excel directly into my monthly status report. So because I send these out every week, I wanna make sure that I'm inserting the actual problem into the report. So what I've done is I hit automate content and it's going to be the Excel to Word automation. So I'm going to insert that chart that I just created And then right away, I see that I can actually add in that breaks were the majority of our labels, and I want to include this into my report. 
One last thing that I'm going to do is double check my grammar spelling through Grammarly. So I'm going to open Grammarly, write in Word. And that's going to go ahead and double check on my status report to make sure that everything looks good to go. So I opened Grammarly and I can see right here that right away it's counting and catching that I hit writing twice. So I'm going to click and remove that redundancy because I don't want to have writing in there twice. And what ahead. And it went ahead and actually removed the second writing. And I'm going to update that so it all looks good to go. And I'll send that back over to the team. And what we actually realize is that management is going to resolve the issues and refund the breaks which is great, um, and I'll pass this back over to Ashima. So once the management decides to provide free break replacements, I proceed to share this information with a customer. Now I'm back at my desk and I have my Outlook for Web open. I proceed to reply to the customer email. Now the moment I do that, you see the signature pre-populated. This has been made possible through the Let's Sign It add-in. At Contoso Bikes, we use Let's Sign It as a signature management tool, and our IT admin has deployed signatures for all employees. This ensures uniformity in our communication and branding. Now, the moment we compose, reply, or forward an email, the Let's Sign It add-in runs automatically and adds our signatures. So this here is my regular signature that I use for internal communications. However, since I'm sending this email to a customer, I want to use my external communication signature. So I open the Let's Sign It add-in. And as you can see, I have multiple signatures here to choose from. I select the most appropriate one and it replaces my previous signature. Now this here is a very rich signature. It has my contact details, my name, my designation, telephone number, email address, even my photograph. It also has the company details, for example, the company logo, the website, company social media links, and a disclaimer. Now, something at the bottom is very interesting. This is a feedback link that customers can click on and share their experience with us. We use this to manage customer satisfaction as well. Here, Let's Sign It is using one of our new features, which is automatically launching add-ins on Mail Compose. This feature is presently in preview on Outlook for Web right now. So I'm going to proceed and paste the customer email here. And this completes the full cycle of managing customer complaints at Contoso Bikes. Over to you, Melody. Thanks, Sashima. We've all done tasks that seem to take too much time or just too much time than they actually should. Regardless of if you're a software engineer, a customer service analyst, or a sales operations manager, there's an office add-in that can help speed up your daily activities and make your week more productive. I'd like to call out for all the IT admins listening in, check to see if your store has been enabled. That's the first step to gaining access. The benefits of web add-ins are also extend to our IT admins. With web add-ins, you're able to integrate experiences across M365, have streamlined life cycles, meaning that the add-ins coming from the store will automatically update. And there's also an ability for admin control. Admins can deploy or disable all Office add-ins, giving you a one-stop shop to organize all of your features within Office. For everyone else, Check in with your IT admin to make sure that the store has not been disabled. For instructions on how to enable the store, check out our M365 developer website and our M365 developer YouTube. You will also find informational videos, helpful documents, and videos on our M365 developer YouTube. We are looking forward to your comments, feedback, and suggestions on our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter for more announcements. Thank you for listening in. Thank you to our partners, and we hope to hear from you.